Don't talk <laughs> yep. about Fight Club. Yeah, Come I on. was actually more interested in, in Willie. I think we need to get him. Uh, I need I need to get him to set the edge a little bit for me. I think he's, about, he looks like he he's still could, yeah. right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, we start talking about guys that are weighing 235, and then Willie's just his frame and his ability to set an edge. And is this uh, Avery? It is Avery. I like him, and, and he's kind of off the radar a little bit, and uh, I think he's got a little juice. And what I liked about him against Tulane, he came off the edge. I think it was UCF. He actually played hang defender, so you could see him on the ball, off the ball, and he plays hard every snap. And coming up next from the Ohio State University, Jerome I, Baker. This kid's going to blow it up a little bit. He can run. You don't want to watch him against Iowa. I mean, that, that was the worst tape for the entire Ohio State defense. And uh, I think there were some mitigating circumstances, perhaps. It looked like some communication breakdowns, but it was not a good game for Baker. But I love the way the kid kid's probably going to run four or five something at 229 pounds. You know, Matt, Matt's not saying anything about the kids, Rich. Have you noticed right, of that? Of course. I mean, I'm just trying to look at your notes right now. <laughs> I bet you are. See if I can get a copy of that book over yeah, there yeah, as I, I get caught up. Yeah, you're a liar. Four, five, three <laughs> is a good number, though. Like that number. And Matt, feel free to take off whenever you got to get back to your guy. Okay? I do. I got to want to get back and get some notes going, but I don't okay, want to well, get over here and get a chance to Please say get that. going then, okay? I will. And we I thank will. you so much Appreciate for coming it. over. Yeah, wish you the best. Thank you. Thank One you of my favorite much. dinners the last few years was Notre Dame the night before the pro day. Just having a chance to talk football with yeah, you. Thanks so much, it. man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks so Great much. Good to see and, you. And uh, we'll, you'll be out in our neighborhood, I'm assuming? Oh, I, got, I will be in that uh, in A squared, as they like to say, every any chance I can get. I appreciate it. How about you in that neighborhood? You're going to. Yeah, we'll. Uh, let me know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so much. Man. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate Thanks, it, man. Matt Patricia. Detroit Lions <laughs> stopping by here. <laughs> That's Keyshawn Bieria of Washington running a 4 8 flat. <laughs> As Oren Burks of Vanderbilt is going to make his way. Okay. Really nice of Matt to come by because he's taken notes of everybody and just spent a couple minutes with us. Aaron Gorn, off hand goes up, you took off. So off hand goes up, hold it for three counts, relax, explode out. You got it, baby. Oren Burks is kind of interesting out of Vanderbilt. He played free safety in 2015, played outside linebacker as a hang defender, basically, which is a hybrid linebacker safety role in 16. And then a new position in 17, an inside linebacker, where he had a really productive season with 82 tackles and an interception. And it's when you can see these kids, and Vanderbilt usually produces pretty smart kids, obviously. When you see him play three positions in three years and then run 4 6 flat, at 233 pounds, that's going to help this young man. And here's Marvin Lewis. Is that uh, that's Jim Hazlitt too? It's Jim Hazlitt. Uh, in or, between is Marvin's son. Yeah. Or is uh, the ball coach once called him Coach Hazlitt? Remember that? Yeah, that's right. And there's <laughs> there's Duke on the on our left that runs their player personnel department for the most part. Lorenzo Carter now of Georgia. I think Carter is really intriguing. I mean, Lenny, he, he's very similarly built to Leonard Floyd. Six pounds heavier, long arms. Floyd ran 4-6. Look what Carter just ran. Leonard Floyd ran 4-6. Carter, 4-4-6 four, four, at 250 pounds. That's a little nutty. That's he could blow up here. Yeah, that is a little nutty. And he didn't have the sack production people thought he should have. He was a five star recruit and he's got length and movement skills. The 34 teams, the three, four teams are going to love him. That was a heck of a time there. It's one of the fastest 40s we've yep. seen run period at this conference. Regardless of the position. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Covington from Indiana. 
Talk about a position switch, Rich. How'd you like to be a high school quarterback, a decorated high school quarterback? Go to college, you play quarterback as a freshman, and they tell you in 2015, your sophomore year, by the way, you're a linebacker now. Yeah. <laughs> and he did really well with it. He had, and two years later, 85 tackles. He broke up five passes. Smart, tough kid. Brian Shazier just tweeted again. Appreciate wow. all the love and support I'm getting from everybody at the combine. Good luck to all the backers. Your time to shine. Isn't that cool? I do do believe it is indeed, sir. Best of luck to you, Ryan Shazier. Look forward to getting you back on the field if that is what you want. Exactly. The uh, 446 of Carter matched that of Jabril Peppers from last year, Martez Wilson from O 2011. How about old Thomas Howard from UTEP? 444. Right. Shay's ear ran too, but he, his pro day, he just I couldn't believe how fast he was in his pro day. 4 8 flat for Covington. <laughs> Nick DeLuca's up there now, is uh, Sean Payton. Along with Jeff Ireland. Nick DeLuca, North Dakota State. When you play for the Bison, you, you come out ready to go. They they typically play 13 to 16 games a year because they're in the playoffs every year, the 1AA playoffs. And this kid's production, you know, he had 333 career tackles. Highly efficient. I think he's one of the smarter players in pass coverage, understands coverage. Seven interceptions and 11 passes broken up. So, Rich, he had 18 plays on the ball, which is more than most defensive backs. Seven interceptions, especially. Obviously, wants to run better than 485, though. Here's Garrett Dooley, Wisconsin. You know, Big Ten championship in this building. Yeah, that's right. He's on the 40 yard dash line, about half a field away from where the Turf guy had his moment of fame. <laughs> Only a one year starter, but keep in mind he played behind TJ Watt and Vince Beagle. 492. 492. Tough kid. He's kind of like an old school Sam. Gonna have to find the right fit. All right, now here's Tremaine Edmonds, your number one linebacker in a 19 year old. I don't have too many 19 year olds at the combine. <laughs> Right. And people, somebody asked me on my conference call last week with the media, you know, who would I could compare him to? And, and I said he's unique. And, and by de the definition of unique is there's only one of them. I, I can't remember a guy at six, four and a half, 253 pounds with long arms that might be as good an edge rusher someday as he is an off the ball linebacker. How about Anthony Barr, Mike? That's what I wrote down when I when you look at him. <sighs> I'm struggling connecting the dots with him and anybody just because of his the, the skill set of being able to be a, a powerful inside off the ball and, and an edge rusher. Four, five, five. Four, five, five. DJ, that's connecting the dots. That's that's checking boxes. Well, you talked about also a, uh, a former offensive player converting. But you got to college, Anthony Barr. Right. That's what happened with him, yep. running back to a linebacker. Okay, here's Shaquem Griffin now. Running the 40 yard dash. UCF in the house. 227 pounds. My comp for him was Quan Alexander, who came out of LSU at almost the exact same height and the exact weight, 227. Quan Alexander ran 455. Let's see how Shaquem does. I enjoyed his game against Auburn. Flies to the football. Two, four, three, eight, four, Shaquem Griffin. Hello. Shaquem Griffin is absolutely dominating. Happy birthday, mama. 
<laughs> this combine. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And he was a late. Rich, he didn't get invited to the combine until after the senior bowl was over. And if that holds up, that would be the fastest 40-yard dash time by a linebacker since we started recording this stuff in 2003. Wow. You go, Shaquem. Happy birthday, Mama. Yeah, man. And Mama, there goes that man. <laughs>